month to month, not much happens. But over 20 years, the whole world can change. And when you look at the Mexico plus Canada plus U.S. formula, it's a really compelling one. The fundamental underlying demographic trends of NAFTA land are so powerful and so positive that they, I think, will actually overcome a short-term political turbulence. This is a long game, and the long game looks really good here. Donald Trump's election is not going to change that. No other area of the world has the quality of human resources, the health, the education, the knowledge production, and the growth of labor force with a relatively slowly aging society. The NAFTA land area will be a much more youthful area in 20 years than China. The big unknown about President Trump's America is whether we're going to have trade wars. If we were going to declare that China was manipulating currency and slap 45% tariffs on imports from China, or if we were going to back away from uh, some of our agreements under the NAFTA framework with Mexico and put tariffs or restrictions on Mexico, this would have immediate and really deleterious effects on our employment situation. If we were just to take the first step on some of the campaign comments about uh, China and Mexico, we could be losing at least one million U.S. jobs. And the people who would be losing their work are people who are lower paid, lower skilled, the people who could least afford it. There are a couple of demographic advantages the United States has. One is our two most rapidly growing minorities, Latinos and Asian Americans, have much better health levels than the national average. Japan is the highest life expectancy country in the world. Our Latino population beats Japan out. How? We don't have a clue, but enjoy it. It's good for us. Another really big plus that we've kind of overlooked, we can't help being a talent magnet for people all around the world. You want to look at the high-skilled, foreign-born population in the rich world, it's overwhelmingly in the United States. All the rest of the rich countries together have less than the U.S. It's a tremendous plus for our nation, and Trump probably won't be able to change that.